What's up guys, Genesis King here, and welcome back to our Stellar Star Wars Fallen Republic playthrough as the Mandalorian clans. As a reminder, this is a roleplay slash story driven series, um, so let's set the stage. Uh, the Galactic Republic has fallen and civil war is looming in the galaxy. As the Mandalorian clans, ourselves, our leadership, mostly Bo-Katan, um, has decided that it is time. It is time for the Mandalorian clans to regain some of their former glory, expand their holdings, and guarantee that they do not fall at the hands of the Galactic Empire. So here we are expanding, claiming territory, and eventually going to war. Um, a few things that I still need help deciding from you and kind of realized when I was poking around uh, before this episode started. Uh, the first of which is slavery. So it is currently allowed, which is fine. So, you know, I'm thinking um, empires that we conquer and slaving their pops. However, this option here of oppression, it is set to heavy, which means currently 25% of our pops are randomly enslaved. So if we hop over to like Mandalore here uh, and go pops, hop into workers, we actually have Mandalorians who are enslaved. That doesn't quite feel right for me. Um, so what I need you guys to let me know down in the comments is does that feel right for you? I I don't think it does, but I'll hold off on swapping it out uh, until I hear from you guys in the comments. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the game running. Uh, thank you all so much for your tips, suggestions, uh, and just general comments on the first episode. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, please do keep that information coming. Um, I do know some Mandalorian lore, uh, but I am no means uh, I am no means an expert, so please, please, please keep that advice coming. Uh, one of the advice we had was to go ahead and form our capital sector so we can get a governor. Went ahead and did that before we started recording this particular episode. Uh, and the other thing that I, I really did like, um, the idea of while we are going to build ships, uh, number one, we should only build ships that are Mandalorian in design. Um, so from my research, this guy right here that we talked about building last episode, uh, while it's got our little Mandalorian logo on it, um, technically I don't think from the little research I did was uh, part of actual Mandalorian fleets at any point in time. Uh, it was part of Republic fleets. But if you guys have any other information than that uh, or can give me some sort of cop out to be able to build this, please let me know because I really want to build it. All right, what were we doing? Uh, we got construction ships, science ships. Um, we can go ahead and build that, so let's get that going. Um, and yeah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so these guys, who were going to potentially be our first target, have formed a little alliance with the Verping? Yes, we'll call the Verping and Enclave. Um, economy is inferior. In theory, we could actually handle a war between those guys. Um, they might be able to get down this way though. So as long as we get a defense point set up over here, we should be okay. Um, yeah. And getting back to sort of where the series is going. Um, I, I really did like the comments of, you know, focus on your fleet. Obviously go ahead and do all that stuff. Um, but, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and take that. Make sure your ground armies are very strong, that your ground defenses are very strong. And I really like the idea of that, uh, for a few reasons. Number one, it does fit with Mandalorians. They didn't have as strong of a fleet, um, at least in this time in galactic history. Granted, we're, we're playing our own series, so we can kind of do what we want, and we'll probably still build out a very large fleet. Um, but we will focus on ground troops, um, and defending the planets that we do own, and turning Mandalore into basically a fortress. All right, so we got a real quick anomaly here. Abandoned ship. Uh, yeah, let's research it. Why not? All right, so we are worsening relations with you, I believe. Correct? Yes, we are. Sweet. Uh, and then we are brown nosing these guys for a little bit. Um, I don't know if we're going to ally with them in the long run, but they're the more immediate, I'm going to say in air quotes, threat. Uh, than the Galactic Empire and their friends down here. So we'll we'll keep our relationship up with them just to make sure they don't decide to attack us. All right, you go ahead and head over there. Um, construction ship, look at that. Society research. 
All right, build research and build mining. Now, is all that from the... There's no way that's for the observation post. Oh, yeah, that's this system. Right, 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 right. Now, I think... This is probably that. Um, there is an Old Republic cruiser, which... Where are you at? Ah, you're up there. Okay, let's go ahead and get... I do want to keep sending you out. We'll hold off on doing that particular anomaly until we get a little bit higher level scientist. Uh, because I want to see if we can actually get something out of that. And it is archaeological site, so it's not going to go anywhere. Although it is only a difficulty of one, so in theory, um, we could send somebody now and it wouldn't be too big of a deal. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, colony development speed, which... <sighs> It's fine, but it turns out there's not many plants for us to colonize other than potentially this guy down here. Uh, once we claim this, and it's a ruined Ecumenopolis. Ecumenopolis. Interesting. Uh, we'll have to restore it at some point. Okay. Um, tractor beams. Better combat computers. Yeah, if we're gonna go roleplay, let's get better combat computers for our ships. Alright. Solar Sailor. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around uh, Findar uh, 6A. Uh, it is believed the vessel was built by the Geonosians and appears to be several thousand years old. Interesting. Get some research out of that. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So here, if we attack these guys, we're going to need to defend this border here. You pop down, build me that starbase. Um, I doubt they can get up here based off of that, though the way that I've seen fleets behave in this mod, actually, well, let's go ahead and research this, that's fine. No, actually, if that's where the enemy fleet is, they're not going to be able to sneak past that. So actually, um, as long as we get defenses set up over here, they're not going to be able to get into the territory, which should be fine. Uh, Lion Association offer. Uh, oh, wait, what? Uh, Comet cited. Okay, to victory. The Moncal is an associate of these guys now? Yes? Is that what that is? Mm, interesting things happening. Um, No, we need to keep our influence to keep claiming systems here. Yeah, they're an associate of that alliance. Very interesting. Hmm. I am I am curious how the galaxy is actually going to shake out in this one. Uh, just because it can kind of do random things. Ooh, we need to get up here to these guys. We really do. Alright. Uh, there's a little boost to our pop growth. Um, Hydroponics farm. Let's get the little research boost. That'll be okay. Now, did we have any edicts that we can run for research? Uh, no, but we could get increased stability, which if I remember correctly. Um, we don't have, gr I mean, we're all above 50, which I guess isn't terrible, but it's not ideal. So we could grab that edict. Just get a little bit of stability. Uh, though we don't have the influence cost, unfortunately. Okay, hyper impact will let the game run. A massive crater on Kalanen 6A appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. Uh, the untiring has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash site, possibly indicating residual hypermatter particles. But as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. Arkable, we'll get some research. Uh, yeah, you know what? We don't have that much territory to try to claim. Um, so... We will just keep on doing those anomalies. Um, you survey that. On the way. Now, do we want to wait and see? Because we do need more habitable worlds. I'm actually going to go ahead and send you up here. I don't think we're going to have to fight anybody over this system, so we'll hold off on claiming it. And I'm going to have you actually come back up here. Uh, and build me those research stations and, and build me the mining. Purely because I... Who is this? Yeah, this is these guys. I don't want them to get their hands on this system. If it can be avoided. Um, I don't see a construction ship anywhere near here. 
but hopefully we'll be able to get that. Um, let's take a look at our armies and what options we have on that, because I think it's kind of cool. Um, so, there was the suggestion, you know, that we just talked about of, like, not building um, spaceships or um, uh, starships that are not of Mandalorian design. And I think we're going to stick with the same thing with armies, right? So, we're not going to build an A6 Juggernaut. We're probably not going to build light artillery tanks. But we have the Mandalorian Skyfighters here. Which we're going to build the hell out of. Alright, Alien out of writing. Fascinating. And more... <laughs> uh, more wrinkles in our plans. Um, hmm. The Republic Loyalists are now part of the Stellar Pact. So, these guys are all friends. We attack these guys. We piss them off. Might want to avoid that early in the game. Um, are you superior to me? No, you're equivalent, but economically you are superior. Um, we probably ought to start doing some commercial packs. Things like that. So let's get a commercial pack with them. It's going to cost us a little bit, but I think the trade will be worth it. Um, let's see. Yeah, go ahead and research that. <sighs> so, yeah. We'll have to turn our attention from these guys to probably these guys. And this is a little bit more juicy of a target anyways, being that they've got, what? One, probably two. Yeah. Three, four, four, five, six planets in here that we could potentially claim in here. Now, we do have to let our influence build up um, a little bit on that, but... All right, so we've got that claimed. I want to make sure we get this research going. Um, and then hopefully we can get over here and claim this. As far as a defensive point goes. Ooh, colony. Colony, colony, colony. Colonize. Go. Um, as far as the defensive point goes, I think the best point to make a defensive position is going to be the Abrin system right here. And I say that for efficiency. Uh, if we put it here, we can defend against any incursion from these guys, these guys, these guys, etc. Um, additionally, it would block, let's, let's assume at some point this pirate fleet gets taken out or their fleet can slip past. It'll defend against that as well. Um, and I think as a Mandalorian, we don't want to cede territory in any war, but if we can make a singular defensive point, that's going to be better. Otherwise, we need to put one here, one here, and that takes up two, so we'll be up four of our five star bases, uh, without even, you know, building up a defensive point against these guys, uh, or anything like that. Okay, are you fully upgraded? I are. Let's go ahead and drop a couple hangar bays here. Though, that becomes less important because these guys are in that alliance. And I don't think... We're not going to attack them immediately. So, what we actually may want to do here... Drop one of the hangar bays and let's go ahead and grab an anchorage and just get a little bit more uh, of a naval cap going. And I think that's going to be okay. Um, if we're not going to attack, they're not going to counter... And I think as long as we are friends with these guys, they're going to vote no in a war. I, I would like to think. Maybe not, but I'd like to think. Um, abandonment Amusement Park. Uh, intriguing. Very, very good. You know what, actually? We're Mandalorians, dang it. No anchorages. Hangar base. And I just, I envision fighter after fighter of Mandalorian design just pouring out of this guy um, and taking on anybody that comes into the system. Alright. Let's see. Um, admin cap. Sure. We don't need it at this point. Can I claim this yet? That's a juicy system. I like that. I await your instructions. Why can't I... Oh, is it... Those energy credits. Ah, you're in the middle of building it. That's why I can't build it. Alright. That is good to go. We're exploring down here. And yeah. Let's let's take a look at these guys. I'm going to go ahead and harm relations. I'm going to pull our diplomat from uh, these guys, from the Cathar Principality. 
Uh, and I'm actually going to harm relations over here because I want a war. I want a war. Um, and you know what? We just had the conversation about defensive points. I think short term, we can kind of do what we want. Long term, we might want to think about that. Uh, but for now, for now, we will actually go ahead and build this guy up. So we'll upgrade you. Um, we do need to get more alloy production going. Uh, population isn't growing as quickly as I quite would like. Uh, granted, we're early game. We don't have an edict for pop growth, which is unfortunate. Uh, ew. Okay, nothing I need to worry about. And how close are you being done on this? Fairly, fairly close. I'd also like to get this, but we'll have to see how that goes. Um, construction ship. I await your instructions. Go ahead and claim that for me. Uh, and that'll be okay. So this is a dead end again over here. Well, it's not a dead end, but it's blocked. Um, anything good in here? It is a lake world, 30% habitability. So no, not really. <laughs> not, not really. All right, please make sure we get this. Like I can't, I need to basically pay attention to this for like the next 20 minutes to make sure we get this um fleet wise do we want to build any ships well, let's go ahead and pop in here um i do think we want to go ahead and add more frigates i'd also like one of these guys to get going because we need heavy ion cannons in the fleet uh and this is what this is our uh, resolution passed this is the car mod all right can we fit one of you in there. Dosi Lictor Carmod. Yes, we can. Oh, no, we can't. All right, Cantina Intel. No, we can't afford it. Um, I need the claims for war, and I need the claims for more territory. Um, yeah, we could get more Corvette. You know what? We're not going to build any ships right now. Not going to build any ships. All right, what did we finish? Minerals from jobs. A new conflict has erupted. Ooh, the Galactic Empire has declared on the Confederate remnant. How, uh, how fitting. All right. Starhold? Yes, please. 90. 98 months. Okay, we need to get some research going. Like, we just, we have to. Um, because 90 months, 98, that's ridiculous. Uh, Wow. Let's get this just to cycle it, and we do need to fill some jobs here on Mandalore. Um, so yeah, we need to get a, re <laughs> a research lab going because 98 months for 7,000 worth of research, not uh, not ideal. And uh, I could have sworn I slowed down the research speed, but potentially uh, it didn't do much. I don't know. Very very odd. Okay, let's get you hopping on the research. And let's get you claiming that system before someone else does. And go ahead and survey that. I am interested to see what is in here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if all of this is blocked off. So, if there's pirate fleets or something here blocking this. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, it's actually Death Watch fleets. Okay. There's some Death Watch fleets there. Is that what you are? Yep, Death Watch. Death Watch. And that's a pirate. So, yeah, it looks like at some point we're going to have to fight Death Watch to gain more territory up here. All right, we're just going to drop a research lab on all of these. And I know we talked about potentially not doing that, um, but with research taking that long, like... We're, we're going to go ahead and do that because I I don't want to be sitting there that long on research. And I don't think you guys do either. All right. Get that research going and then get the mining going. We are upgrading you down here. Oh, oh, hello. Really? Really? You jumped me. All right. You, you, no. Uh, closed borders. Where's closed borders? Relations, non-aggression, guarantee, as vassal, to, 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 
Why can't I close my borders? Am I just missing it? Improve relations, harm relations, declare war, make claims, offer trade, declare rival. Let's do that. Um, I cannot close my borders. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, huh. I wonder if that's part of the mod. All right, get over here and claim that before they do. Stupid. All right, well, part of the war is going to have to be us taking that now, which means we're going to have to use more influence, which is very unfortunate. Um, food, unity. Yeah, let's get unity. All right, we finished better combat computers so we can upgrade our ships. And I think we will go shield capacitor for... Construction. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's go to our ship designs uh, and let's take a look. Can I... Well, you get better combat computer. Okay. So, two, one. No? Really? All right. Well, um, let's go ahead and upgrade our ships because I think we went through and did some other stuff. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade. Cost a little bit, but it's going to be okay. Yeah, unfortunately, that's a non-habitable planet. Uh, the desert world up here will be habitable, so we want to make sure we get to that. And then a forest world I don't think is going to be habitable. I don't think. All right, you... Yeah, let's get you pulled back here. Uh, and I'm actually going to have you assist research. Where is Man... There's Mandala... Yeah, yeah. I think Mandalore is going to be kicking out more, more research, anyways. Is it though? Is it? Uh, twenty-seven, twenty, twenty-nine. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Well, a little bit of research coming out of Calavella, uh, if I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah. All right. Defensive pacts. Uh, Trade Federation Commerce Guild. That makes sense. See and hegemony over here. Do you like me at all? Not really. Science scan to traits. So yeah, I think I'm I'm happy with. Uh, let's go ahead and build that research and then build mining. Um, I am happy so far with the way the our ability to expand has gone. Um. This is the IOTA. Okay. I think it's time to go ahead and research that. Because I think we need to make the decision on this of what we want to do. I think as the Mandalorians, we would more so fill the fill the role of their magnificent creatures and we want to respect them. But I could also see let's go let's go whale hunting. Like <laughs> I could also see that. So Hopefully that gives us a decision and, uh, and we'll talk through it and maybe, maybe decide in between episodes and uh, let you guys uh, have some input on that particular decision. Um, okay, so here we do need a job. I think it's time we get a foundry going, get some more alloy production. We are only at plus 20 uh, and that number does significantly need to prove um, you guys. We're actually hostile. I think that's a good thing. Um, okay, so we have 107 influence. If I was to make some claims down here. What's that going to look like? 32. Okay. I want to make sure we get this territory grabbed and then we'll start making claims. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're going to... No. No. Are you, are you serious right now? Are you serious? On the way. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. And I can't close borders. Close border, close border, close border. I can't close borders. What the hell? Ugh. Oh, that makes me so mad. We're losing a. Okay, no. Yeah, no, we lost out on this. And we're going to lose out on that because I this guy. All right, go survey that. Um, I am kind of surprised how aggressive the AI is uh, in claiming the various systems, to be quite honest. On the way. 
Right. Why is your construction system in there? Or construction ship. <laughs> construction ship. Yeah, that's right. Go away. All right. You're upgraded. You are. Uh, let's drop a couple hangar bays. Cantina Intel. We'll come back to it later. But again, we need that influence for um, flaming systems. All right. The Pergil. Space Amoeba life forms. Okay. Um, so yeah, that wasn't the decision I kind of thought it was going to be. But I guess we can go in and make them hostile by just attacking them. But anyways, um, alright, let's finish off expansion. Damn. Yep, they just took that system. That makes me so mad. So mad. Alright, well, you know what? Did it actually kick me out? Wait, 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 Did I not get re- Did I get refunded that influence? I don't think I got refunded that influence. They're gonna get that thing too. Son of a- Alright, these guys are pissing me off. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, because they're in the alliance with the Galactic Empire, and we really don't want to poke that there right now. Okay. So, we've got our first era perk that we can grab. Um, Sovereign Unification. Executive Vigor. Understand a Galaxy. <sighs> I think... I think this is one of the scenarios we're not going to quite go role play on this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here, I think, is going to be Technological Ascendancy. Although, Interstellar Dominion sounds good. You know what? Yeah. We're going to go with Technological Ascendancy, uh, being that it seems like we're not doing so hot as far as research goes right now. Um, and long term, that's a huge threat. Man, you're really going to... You're really... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, no, that's <laughs> that's a thing that's going to happen. Uh, I sound salty. Am I salty? I, I think I sound salty. Alright, yeah, that's very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Okay, you know what? We may just abandon plans to expand up here. Reason being, this is a fairly defensible point. Um, can block anything here, anything here. They can't expand this way, just like we can't expand this way. And I think that's going to have to be okay. I, I think that's going to have to be okay. Right, let's make sure everything's built up down here. Uh, go build mining. And then go mining. Are you assisting research? You are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and recall you to come down here and do that archaeological site for the abandoned Republic. Or the, was it crashed? Uh, just an old Republic cruiser that is shipwrecked. So maybe we'll get something out of that. Potentially. Alright, I guess go ahead and go build me that. Since there's nothing else we're going to kind of do. And yeah, so these are going to be our borders to start the game. Uh, hopefully we can get down here and claim some of this. Sorry, not claim. Uh, conquer. Conquer is the appropriate word here. Uh, communications have been intercepted. By intercepting a message sent to the Tanab Authority, we have learned that they are in regular contact with another space for an empire that we ourselves have no contact with. By tracing this message to a source, we've been able to establish our own line of communication with this previously unknown actor in the galactic stage. Hey, we've met the Hapes. Uh, Mandalore Bo Katan greets you. Hapen. Ah, uh, there's the Hapes. Overwhelming, overwhelming. Yeah. Alright. Um, better shield capacitors. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab the research boost now. Um, and then here, heavy vehicle facility. That's the cheapest out of this. Although I like getting better proton torpedoes, but if we're going to do a ground army focus, to a certain extent, focus is too strong of a word. If we're going to go very heavy on our ground armies and defenses, we want to go with the heavy vehicle facility. Uh, ooh, consumer goods ain't great either. Um, so here... Hey, you're already producing a bunch of consumer goods. You go ahead and just keep doing that. And we'll get you rolling over there. Uh, monthly unity. 
leader pool size, leader cost. I think the other thing that we want to do uh, in this series, and, and correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, I think our leaders um, need to be very strong. So we want to do anything that will improve our leaders, either cost, their ability to level up, things along those lines. Since if we're going to kind of be limiting our fleet size, uh, we'll want to have better admirals, better army commanders, that sort of thing. So potentially we go adaptive bureaucracy. Um, I also think we might want to go clinic for the pop growth speed. So let's go ahead and do that. As I get done making this, you know, this well-founded point in role playing and or storytelling, story and we go the complete opposite. Okay, we have founded some factions. First Strike League, Committee of Scientific Scholars, and the Noble Privilege Vanguard. Okay. Now, please tell me you're going to give me a little bit of influence here. Yeah, scientific community doesn't like us. Noble Privilege does. First strike, what do you want? You want conquest. Uh, conquering alien planets will please the first strike league for a time. Imperial hegemony. Uh, installing ourselves as the overlord of one or more foreign powers will please the first strike league. Okay. And noble privilege. Uh, extend our influence to dominate subject nations will please. So subject nations will actually make these guys and these guys happy. How about you? Uh, you also want conquest, so that's good. And you also, okay, so we can actually do a few things that'll make all of these guys just a little bit more happy. Uh, what did we finish? Okay. Research agreement proposal with the Republic Loyalists. You know what? If they're willing to help us, we'll we'll throw them a bone here or there with um with research and you know, we'll we'll make this advantageous to us, but if they ever become a threat, um, or if they no longer align with our goals, then we can always turn on them. We'll do that. That's fine. Okay, you're building that. Let's go ahead and make some claims down here. Uh, make claims. Is that really all we can afford? Well, we'll claim it for now, dang it. Alright, food all of a sudden is a problem. Um, let's get an ag district going. And here, so how much does that actually produce? Uh, farmers produce food, so one job produces eight, so we should be all right there. Uh, we do have a building going to get that consumer goods back into the positive. So here, we need to keep our energy credits in mind. Um, we've got the housing here. We do need more amenities. Uh, another faction, Individual Choice Initiative, has been founded. We might just want to drop an amenities building. Potentially a hollow theater, um, which actually would give us more naval cap. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And Mandalore needs another job filled. Um, okay, so Mandal Motors, ship upgrade. Ooh, ship upgrade cost, ship firing plus five. Very nice. Okay, governing ethics shift in the current Senate. That's fine. Um... Can we... Oh, no. We are maxed out on districts. That's unfortunate. Um, let's get... I think we need droids. I think we want to get a droid assembly plant going. Um, purely to get more workers and more pops. Um, I don't think off the top of my head that the Mandalorians were against droids. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong. So if I am wrong, please, please, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, let's build those research stuff. Da, 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 da. All right. Well, I think we are at a good point here. So we'll go ahead and wrap this episode up. Please, please, please let me know down in the comments uh, what you think on the point of slavery uh, within the Mandalorian Empire and uh, how we should handle that. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.